Well, hey, hi guys. Hello, hello. I am getting everything all all turned on here. Get everything hooked up so we can do a little live at five, little 15 minute. Uh, get more subscribers. By the way, if you're watching me on YouTube, I have a new, check this out. Here you go. Here you go. Hey, be sure to subscribe. Do you like that? I'm trying to be like all those big billion view, you know, YouTube people. If they have it come across the screen, I just kind of hold up a sign and go, yeah, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for doing that. Well, let me get my YouTube going here. There's that little red. I see that. That's cool. And uh, let's go home and live at five right now. There we go. Cool. All right. Uh, so we have, uh, well, hey, we have Eva Milan Dantes from the Philippines. Hello, Eva. So glad you're here today. Thank you for coming. And Robert, good to see you, Robert. Juzabasipisiaza. <laughs> I am I'm very challenged with pronouncing people's names. I had such a good bike ride today. I hope you guys are uh, getting out and enjoying the end of summer weather, the fall, uh, or almost fall. And uh, I had a great, great lesson today at my 3 o'clock live. I wanted to show you what we did this week. This is the end of our second week of my... Uh, um, but look at this. We did this this week. We did this on... Uh, uh, Okay, was this Monday? Okay, that did Aunt Penelope and the scroll, and we did Baby Godzilla. And then on, uh, let's see here, this was on complex, uh, smaller components. I call them the elements of drawing shading, shadow, size, foreshortening. So these are the ancient uh, elements of drawing, and I showed you how you can break them down into even smaller components. We drew, we practiced. This was lesson two, chapter two of my book, You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. We actually did both sides of the paper there. That was a very good day. And then uh, this was Wednesday. We drew the treasure box and we drew the uh, ninja squirrel and we did these cool starfish clamped to the side of the rock and we drew the practicing the stacking of the boxes with windows and spheres and this was today and i had so much fun with this coffee cup today i figured you know what i want to go i want to do a live at five i want to inbox this was so much fun now uh remember coming up on monday this monday every monday i do my mighty monday which is live for for uh i have i uh, Almost a thousand families in this now. I'm not sure what the number is, but if you want to join me, um, I usually have 20 or 30 families come on live. If you're a member of my draw3d.com, I'd love you guys to consider signing up for that draw 3D. This is a great collection of all of you know, like hundreds and hundreds of drawing lesson videos. Okay, but the fun thing about this one, the new night at 6:30. Sorry about my dirty hands. I was out bike riding today, and the dirt and the mud. It was awesome. And I washed them, but it just it's hard to get all that grit off my hands. But I'm uh, having so much fun. All right, well, let's draw the let's draw that coffee cup. Let's do our little 15 minute brain boost and drawing lesson. And uh, hey, we have Patricia on here. Hi, Patricia. We have Sarah Trost. Hi, Sarah. Good to see you on there. Thanks for coming on. I just love that Eve Eva's joining us from the Philippines. So I'm using You Can Draw in 30 Days book. This is available on uh, Amazon. Do and figure drawing, but it's number. Like 1,756. I am 1,756 books of the 10 million books on Amazon. So buy yourself a copy today from Amazon. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to draw this coffee cup. And this is a fun lesson. And I named this this lesson, uh, this is lesson 20, Volcanoes, Craters, and a Coffee Cup. What do these three things have in common? Well, the coffee cup and the uh, crater. And the volcano, and the craters here in the volcano, they all have that foreshortened circle. So we're going to draw that coffee cup with that foreshortened. We're going to use that guideline, okay? So I'm going to put, I'm going to block that. 
I'm going to put that up there so I can see it. So we're going to start. Let's just start our live at 5, 15-minute brain boost. Here, let's see. Put two dots straight across from each other. We'll, we'll start with a four shorten. Uh, four, oops, that pencil's out of, out of pencil lead. Good thing I happen to have two. We're going to draw. It's basically like an oval. See, so drawn in 3D is learning how to squish and distort. So I'm going to just draw the cylinder right here. I'm going to shape it a little bit more as we go. But I'm going to draw just the cylinder. Now, squish and distort. The top here is squished to make it look like it's um, this edge is closer. Curve the bottom. This is a word called placement, okay? Near things that are lower. Here's an example of foreshortening. Look at, I, I've had a lot of my students go on and work on at, ma you know, major animation companies like Lucasfilm and Disney and DreamWorks and Pixar. One of my, uh, many of my students worked on Despicable Me. I love the minions. Now look at the, see the eyes? Now see the circles? Now watch this. As I turn the eyes away from you, they become foreshortening. See, this, look at the eyes. Ooh, see the eyes? Look at the eyes. They become foreshortening. They become squished. Foreshortening near things. Here, here's, here's Stanley. Another, now look at, see that circle? Now watch. As I tilt it away from you, you see it becomes squished. Squish and distort. Drawing in 3D. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to put a handle on this now. This will be the, at the front of our mug with a foreshortened circle. Now, what I'm going to do is over here, let's write right over here for a second. I'm going to do a little side lesson. Let's just draw a quick box. We're going to use an alignment exercise. Put two dots straight across from each other. Put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above and below your finger. I'm going to draw a foreshortened square. I'm going to draw a foreshortened square. Now, is these two dots far apart, these are close together. Now, we know that this is a flat square. See that? This is a flat two-dimensional square. Flat 2D, right? Two-dimensional length and width. It has length and width, right? Length plus width. What I want to do is I want to make a foreshortened square. I want to squish it. So what we're doing, see, squish and distort. We want to make this near. Eva says she is... Uh, using my my materials to teach. How wonderful! Thank you. All right, I'm going to draw this box. This is just going to be a draw a little drawing direction uh, reference cube. Now the middle line's longer. This is one of those twelve words that's called placement. Now there's twelve words I keep talking about. These are the five hundred year words. These words are free if you go to uh, draw three D right there. Go, um, go to printables. You can print those words up for free. What we're drawing right here is we're drawing this reference compass. This, these are the four positions that most artists use most of the time. Not all the time, but when they're positioning. So, this is, so we're going to be using this when we draw the coffee mug. We're going to be using this for the shadow. See, now watch this. I'm going to put a shadow on the ground. The shadow's coming in that direction. And so this, this angle right here, I call this direction southwest on the compass. And this angle up here, I call this direction northwest on the drawing compass. Okay. And if you look at this angle right here, I call this direction northeast on the drawing compass. You see, this is a regular compass, right? That's a regular compass. That's a compass that four shortened. And these are the four positions. You can see how I apply them to these pencils. These are the four positions that mo most artists use most of the time. You've heard me probably talk about it before in earlier episodes of different uh, YouTube uh, simulcasts and Facebook simulcasts that I've created. Hi, Carol Goyan. I'm glad you're here with us today. Hi, Patricia Van. How are you doing today? So these are these are the positions, and this is direction southeast. All right. Now, this is flat, and this is 3D, okay? This is three-dimensional. This has length plus width. Back to our, our little mug here. So what I'm going to do is on the side right here, about right here, I want to draw the edge of the mug. So I'm going to put, see this? I'm going to put two little curves here. But I, you know what? I want to lower this down just a bit. See that? I made a mistake, so I'm erasing it. No stress, you guys. Stress is on the bus. No stress. Stress is, somebody type in beep, 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 beep in the, in the comment box. No stress. Give yourself, give yourself the license to make mistakes. Give yourself the license to flop, okay? You've got to fail to succeed. It's really, really important to give yourself that, uh, that um, license. Give yourself permission to try new things and you can make, you can flop and make mistakes and try again, okay? Thumbs up for being brave. Yeah, thumbs up for you being brave with your, in your sketchbook. Now, so what I'm going to do down here, look at uh, down 
uh, vertically down below that one, I'm going to put another little, this will be the edge of the hand. I'm going to put a little handle here. So I'm going to use this guideline and direction southeast as my guideline. So I'm going to put these exactly how, I mean, I should have made them steeper. It's all right. I'll, I'll just live with that. Now, hey, Carol, thank you for Carol going on, typed in beep, beep, beep. So let's do a vertical line here and then another vertical line here. That's going to be our little handle on the side of the mug. So I'm going to put the side of the mug. You see, we're just I'm following this lesson. This is such a great lesson in this book. This is a really great, cool little coffee mug, okay? So now watch this. The inside of the curve, and now I'm going to darken it in. Overlap and put the wrinkles. See this? Put the wrinkles. I hope you've enjoyed these these episodes. This I think this is episode seven of my live at five. I was uh, intending to do one a day for a hundred days, <laughs> and but in a month I've got seven. So uh, you know, we do the we do the best we can, right? Until life just kind of comes right straight straight at our face, huh? All right, so I'm putting a little, see that, the cool little handle there, to attach it to the side. Now I'm going to have some fun on the on the, the opening of the coffee mug. I'm going to use four shortening. So I can take my pencil. Now watch this. I'm going to kind of draw the inside of that mug. See that? Just the inside and the top. I'm going to come character. I think I'll curve it in. See that? I'll just curve it in just a bit. You see that? Just to, I just kind of curved it, and then I'll take my cleanup. My eraser, clean up, clean up, clean up. All right, how are you guys doing out there? Give me a one through five if you're drawing with me. Five if you're doing great, and a one if you're, uh, if you give me a one, it's like you're, I'm going too fast. Give me a one, one is like, no, help, you're good. And a five means you're doing great. Give me a one through five up there on the text, on the chat box. All right, curve the bottom, not straight, curve the bottom, curve the bottom. And I like this little bit of a steam, a little bit of steam coming out here. So I'm going to do this for shorten, get a little bit, get a bit, a little bit thicker as it moves up. See, it starts skinny and it gets wider and wider as it moves up. Isn't that wonderful? Do you love it, love it, love it? Now, the light, the shading is really important. It's one of these Renaissance words. Remember, there's, there's all for free too from draw3d.com. Um, go to the tab that says printables or downloads. All right, let's add the shading. I'm going to put the sun. It's important to, to determine where your light source is coming from. So put your light coming up from the top right. So if it's coming down here, I'm going to use this back to the box, our reference cube, the southwest. See, I call this my the drawing direction. And I've done this before, and I'll do it again, I guarantee you. Because it's always handy to have this drawing direction reference cube. Oh my goodness! I'm uh, I'm having a uh, I'm having a spelling confidence check. Someone, how do I spell reference? Oh my goodness! I'm having a uh, I want to spell it correctly. I don't want to misspell it. I I misspelled license on a on a NASA live drawing lesson with the astronauts and the ki uh, NASA kids, and I misspelled license. So there it is. So it's R a reference. I thought there was an A in there. R E N C E. I thought there was an A. I'm glad I checked. And uh, Carol gave me a four. I'm so Carol cube. Cubal. I misspelled cube. How's that? How's that for having a confidence issue today with my spelling? You can tell in school when I was, should have been practicing spelling, I was drawing. Doodles and noodles and drawing a southwest coming down here direction southwest. All right, looking good. That that's our guideline direction southwest. I'm gonna use those lines for a cast shadow. I love, I love, love, love cast shadow. Love it. Do you guys love it? Look at that. I love the cast shadow. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So the sun's up here. So I'm gonna shade inside, and we're gonna get lighter and lighter as it comes across. You see that? We're going to get lighter and lighter as it comes across. Isn't that wonderful? The sun's up here coming down. Let's shade opposite. I just, I'm going to use squibble shading for right now. I'm going to put, I'm going to put a couple little shadows. You see that? I'm going to put a, a shadow of the handle. Put a little shadow of the handle coming down here. I'm going to be, you'll see, I think you're really going to enjoy 
the, the stompy in just a second here. So the sun's above, so I'll do one layer of shading down here. One layer of shading down here. And I dark see go lighter and lighter as it goes up. Then stump. I love these. You get these in the like a little packet for like three bucks. Here's one of the like I got this stump the stump blending set. Okay, these are great uh to get. I also I use a blending stomp. I definitely or a blend a, a, a brush, a dusting brush. And I really recommend if you guys are going to start drawing with me often on these uh, live at five uh, programs, I suggest you get yourself a uh, a um, a sketchbook. And I'm trying to find my s sample sketchbook up here, but of course I'm just knocking everything over. But get a sketchbook with a, a spiral bind, a metal spiral bind. All right, so I'm going to use use my stompy here, and I want to blend this, so I'm going to use my stompy. And I don't press too hard, just a light stompy, a light, let's see, just a light touch. I go, I blend it. I don't want the whole thing to look gray, I don't, muddied. I just want to do dark to light blended. You see that? See, see, isn't that nice? Look at that. Just a little bit of blending here. See, the, the stompy, oops, let me do a little bit underneath here first. I do one layer. I go through and I do layer upon layer, you see? And then I'll take my stompy. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that fun, fun, fun? And there's our there's our coffee mug. Isn't that cool? Now you can put the coffee mug on a little dish or a saucer if you want. I I, I like putting a putting a horizon line. I always like I love to put a horizon line. It looks like sitting there. Maybe put a little bit of just a little bit of value behind there. That's what I why I love using a pencil so much to draw is the different values, the grades that that which you can get with the graphite. I love it. I'll, maybe I'll darken in the steam. Maybe I'll erase where the steam goes over here. And you can have that nice flowing steam coming out. You can darken in the edge as it comes up. Isn't that great, you guys? Well, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you for drawing with me for this. This is just a little... What I'd like to do every day is do a little little 8 to 15 minute drawing um, brain booster. So we call these live at five-ish, right? Because I started, I meant to start at five, but it was probably, look at it, so it's so 5.45 right now. So live at 5 p.m.-ish, right? Ish. Heavy on the ish. Heavy on the ish. Uh, Central Standard Time. And today is, this is episode seven, right? Episode, I believe it's episode seven. Let me find my YouTube channel here. I believe it's episode seven. I'll correct that if it's not. Episode seven. Woo! And today we're featuring my uh, drawing in three, my oops, my drawing in 30 days. Uh, all the things I mentioned, those printables, print them up from draw3d.com. Uh, if you want to sign up, I would love to have you guys, your family, sign up for my full hours of Mighty Monday Zoom. Mighty Mondays is Zoom at noon. And at 6.30 for you families, okay? 6.30. Every day, every day, I draw at 3 p.m., Monday through Friday, with my Daily Fine Arts Academy. It's hard for me to look at this camera right here, and that's my monitor right there. I should have the monitor in front of me so it doesn't look like I'm always looking to the side. My shifty eye. I look today. What? I wonder what number it is. I always like to see what number is it on my Amazon. My goal is to get it under the top 1,000. So let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at on my phone here. Look at this. I'm so competitive. I want to go to Amazon. I want to see where. Where is this book today? Go to Amazon, and we'll go. We'll type in my name, Mark Kistler Books, and there it is. Let's see. All right. So here it is. Uh, there it is on Amazon. You can draw on 30 days. This part right here. Uh, so I'm number. Uh, number 1,780, but I'm number two in arts, number two in figure drawing, number three in pencil drawing, number 1,780. Woo! All right, 1,780. Woo! Well, if everybody watching goes out there and orders 10 copies for friends and family, I'll get it in the top 1,000, all right? Thanks, guys, for drawing with me. You're awesome. Fist bump for creativity. And uh, I will try 
to do another episode eight will be tomorrow. If not, it'll be soon. Okay. Thanks guys for drawing with me. Bye everybody. Bye Carol. Bye Ava.